All right, guys, we are back. We have a real champion here today. And a lot of you can tell what this is right away. This is mini number six, Frankfurters and Beef. This is otherwise known as the Four Fingers of Death. There's many different names for it. This is, uh, we won't know until we open it up, late, late 90s, early, early 2000 model. Um, MRE being this type of bag, this color bag, I would say around 99. We'll know soon enough, but there's no stamps on these old bags anywhere on the ledge. So let's go ahead and cut it open to see how it looks on the inside. Uh, a little bit scared to be honest with you. And you see a uh, mill ready individual, and this one is also made in McAllen, Texas for right away foods. So let's open it up and see what we got. Without any further ado, we have our little Gerber here, or razor knife. I'll try to put a link in the description if I can find it. There we go. I cut it side to side, otherwise, you won't be able to get it open. And this has some old components in it, the old really dark brown uh, bag. The serial number on it, I did not particularly see the actual date on that. That is potato sticks. That's an oldie. I've not seen that one for quite a while. We have beverage base powder grape. That's printed on the back of it. Grape right there. Grape is usually not one that holds up great over time. Here we have the freeze-dried pears. A lot of you guys are very fond of this little freeze-dried fruit, fruit. So it looks like, I'm guessing that's 1995 as a production on that. 95th day of 1995. We might guess. In this color bag. Here we have a serial number on this one. This is just plain crackers. It's hard to get that to show up on here. Hard to get that to show up on here. We have some old peanut butter. Some dark brown bag peanut butter. No date on that either. That's some charms. Ew. Ew. Those look pretty. Pretty squishy, I would say. All right. Next up we have a old school ration here. Look at the look at the size of that baby. Doubt that still works. We're going to see if it does or not. There's a nutrition A4 multiplier by the mineral Fortification. You guys want a little closer look at that. There you go. There's not really much in this. I mean, there's no side dish. It's only like some junk food and the Frankfurters. All right. Yeah, so I don't know. I'll say 1995 on this one, guys. And. We have a whole accessory pack here. There's not too much in it. I see something that I like very much though. Let's open up the C. It has, ooh, it has apple cider in it. it. Has Tabasco, but the color of Tabasco is getting a little bit on the dark side, guys. It's still liquid. We'll have our TP. All right. I die salt. Whoop, where are we going here? Standard issue military gum. Got some matches. Right there. They all look really good. Really nice, well preserved MRE. Oh, this actually is not the cider. This is iced tea and lemon. Thought we had us a, a spice cider, but we did not. A napkin, a moist towelette. Is it dried out? No, it is not. It's still very moist. Kind of smells like alcohol and nothing. Very, very, very mild. I'll make this little trash pile over here. And then we have our cream substitute. I'll crank open our main here and see. Oh, yikes. Yikes. Yeah, so 5339 is production on this bad boy. I mean, 1995, judging by the color of the, of the outside wrapper of these. 
and that would date about right to have a mix and match of dark brown stuff in it. So let's grab our tray. Let's get some, what we got here? Some water for our tea and some water for our grape beverage base. We'll be right back. Okay, so are we gonna try to heat up our beef frankfurters or are we just gonna eat them like they are? I mean, I kind of think we should eat them like they are, all right? Maybe we'll heat them up. We'll heat them up. I doubt this works. If it doesn't, we're gonna eat them cold. How about that? Let's get our heat element worked out here. Let's fold in the edges of it. These old heaters are pretty skinny. Drop this down in there. Okay. All right, we got a line on the bottom. I got to fill it up too, of course. That already stinks for even put the water in it. All right. I just squished it, but it's up to right to the line. We're gonna go turn this over. Get all the water on the heater. Bag's puffing up. Is she gonna go? I don't know. Let's see. We'll leave it there a few minutes to see. So next up, we got a few things here. Well, first let's do our drinks. They need to be marinating, as one would say, while we're doing the other stuff. Jeez. Plastic lined paper pouch. smell. Mm, that does not smell great. Just trying to look at it as we're pouring here. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. Famous last words, isn't it? it doesn't look that bad. It's crunchy in there with sugar. Let's go ahead and do the grape drink. Where'd you go? Grape drink right here. Up here, potato sticks. The heater is doing nothing so far. So we'll tend to that here in a second. The grape drink is moldy. Yeah, we can't drink that one. That one's got the mold. It smells like whiskey. Got the mold in her. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's put this back up over here. Zip her great stuff back up. So you still got one drink. That looks pretty decent. Doesn't smell great. I mean, it's not gonna kill you, right? Potato sticks, I had these before and they're really good. I had before and they're very rancid. So it all depends on how it was stored at this point. There we go. I don't want to smell rancid, but they're really broken up. They seem pretty decent. Probably pretty welcome in MRE to be honest with you. But probably not a lot of calories in it. It's like crumbled up potato chips, essentially. This thing is not doing anything at all. But the water is getting like brown in it. This is my cardboard. So yeah, a few things here. Give it a few more minutes. We have our pears, which are right here. And the last few times I did the dried fruit, everybody got angry at me for rehydrating it. They 
said in the field, they never do that. In the field, all they ever do is take a piece of it, take a bite out of it. it smells very sweet. Is that mold or is that a pear? I think it's, I think it's a pear. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Beats like eating styrofoam. Okay. Well, it's freeze dried. They taste perfectly fine. Freeze dried usually doesn't go bad. I think it had a really good seal on it. It shouldn't really be an issue. Before we go any further here, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. All right, peanut butter from 1995. Looks not quite the right color. Eh. It smells so strong like peanuts. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit out because the very tip of it looks a little crispy. And it all looks like that. That's some dry ass peanut butter. That's as dry as it gets, guys. Man. Does not taste great. It tastes a little a little off, maybe putting it lightly. It tastes a little bit a little bit rancid, like the oils in it kind of go off a little bit. Just so strong. Why is that so strong for? What we're gonna do here, man. Peanut butter is nasty. Ooh, some nice toasted crackers, non-salted. They don't smell great. Oh. Could you eat them to live? Yes, you could. They taste good? No, they don't. They're getting rancid, not completely rancid yet. That's about the same speed as the peanut butter. Like, you still eat it. I just want to recommend eating it. Well, unfortunately, all that stuff is the best stuff so far. The worst is still to come here. Get this bag open. We're gonna move our light back here. I'm gonna grab a towel because when I pull this out of this bag, hard telling what we're gonna get into. A towel ready. We don't wanna get our juice from our heater. You know that heater didn't actually do anything? It does not smell great at all. Ooh, ooh. Very sandy. Look at the foam. Look at the foam on it. It's a pretty tough situation there. The four fingers of the death cold. So it has two different tear spots on it. One's up here. One's up here. I'm not sure how you're supposed to tear that off. And get your stuff out. Oh. The disgusting stuff would be for you guys. I mean, look at that. This dumper out. Juice and all. Look at that. I can tell you what it looks like. Oh. Good night. Good night. It splashed on me. There it is. That, my friends, is every MRE viewer's worst nightmare. That is the four fingers of death right there. That is a tough, tough situation. It's very artificially smoked. Like liquid smoke. 
That shit looks rowdy. I hope you have. Definitely like a a nasty hot dog. I think about it is. There's so much salt and liquid smoke on it. It's probably still good. It's like a very, very soft hot dog. Not really Vienna sausage. Like a like a cheap, nasty hot dog that's like way softer and a whole bunch of liquid smoke and a whole bunch of salt. However, let's be clear. Back in the day, if you got this, you actually probably could eat that and probably did like it to some extent. Uh, today in 2023, almost 2024, not so much. These are going to be all melted and gooey. I don't think you can touch these. I almost hate to even touch them. Cut towards myself. Look at that. It's like you guys taught me. Oh, right. All right. Look at that. They're not brown. We've had a few of these in the past that you can just, this like they were made yesterday. But look at that. Look how soft they are. Like liquefied. Yeah, put those right there with the four fingers to death. That's going to be it. So if you're in the military, ugh, that's some a little backlash to that one. If you're in the military back in 1995, maybe you were trying to get this one to eat. Maybe this is your fave back in the day. Maybe. Maybe it's something you all ran from. Who knows? But that's going to be it for today's review. There it is. <coughs> stuff's getting me stuff's getting me four fingers to death guys have a good day we'll see you again very soon maybe we're not in the hospital that's it guys we'll see you later